Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Dimitri. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to display this data in uppercase. So we're going to display the first name and the last name in uppercase. So in order to do that, we're going to select and then we're going to apply this function upper. Notice that these sort of functions, uh, they appear on pink and then you gotta mention your column. So in this case, I'm going to have a first name. And then you gotta mention from, in this case, my table is called customers. Okay, what if I want to select the last name as well? So let's just run this for now. I'm going to have my first name, okay? Let's just give it an alias. Let's just call this uh, first uh, name. So if I run this again, I'm gonna have a name for the heading. So I got first name, all right? Let's just go back to the whole uh, table again, and I'm gonna have uh, my first name and my last name. So. Here's the catch. So if I want to select another uh, column and I want to apply the upper function, if you guys want to try this, comma, last name, you'll notice that this is not going to work. So if I run this, it's basically telling me that it requires one argument, so it's not going to work. So let's just go back to the real table. Let's just run this. And we have to find a way to get this first name and last name in uppercase. So I could say comma, and I could apply the same function again. So upper, and I'm gonna apply that function to my last name. And then I'm just gonna give it a name as well. So let's just call this last name. So we basically have a couple of different arguments here. They're separated by a comma. And let's just execute this. So let's select and execute. And you'll see that that's going to work. So if you wanna add more columns, you can do it this way, so comma, and insurance type, for example. So that's going to show you three columns, but the uppercase is going to apply only to first name and last uh, name. Even though in this case I have insurance type in uppercase, so you won't be able to see the difference. But let's execute this, and then you're gonna have the three columns and you apply the upper function to two different columns. Okay, so I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.